Okay, so who is this tutorial series for? This tutorial series is specifically for people who have an existing self-hosted WordPress website, okay, and who want to move that from one location to another, from one server to another, uh, from one place to another. What do I mean by a self-hosted WordPress website? I mean specifically a full-blown version of the WordPress.org uh, software, the WordPress software that you can download from WordPress.org. And I say .org to distinguish it from WordPress.com. We're not talking about a WordPress.com blog or website that you've created using WordPress.com. We're talking about a full-blown um, self-hosted version of WordPress, okay? What I mean by self-hosted is that this is a software, this is, um, you've installed WordPress either on your own computer, maybe you've self-hosted it like you're just doing a local installation for for development or you have it hosted on a web server okay like maybe you've got a dream host plan when you know shared web hosting plan or bluehost or any of the you know web hosting providers that are out there and there's tons of them out there okay um, the important thing is that we are talking about wordpress.org um, it's also very important that you be running the latest version of wordpress okay if you haven't and we'll talk about this a few steps on when we talk about preparing our site for migrating, but this is really meant for people who are running the latest version of WordPress. You really should be running the latest version of WordPress anyways. To be running an old version um, is, you know, you're, you're really asking for trouble there because there, there's quite, there's some security issues with that. Um, so make sure that you're running a, a the latest a stable version of WordPress, um, and that all your plugins and themes are up to date. So we're, we're talking about uh, websites that have been kept up to date um, and that uh, have been well maintained, okay? If your website has problems, um, then you really need to address those first before you attempt a migration. Um, you also need a new location to be moving to. Okay. So um, in this case, let's talk about a couple scenarios we'd be looking at. You might have a local installation. What I mean by that is that maybe what you've done is you've been working on your WordPress website on your computer. Okay. Maybe you have a local installation and you want to move it. Now you want to, you finished it and you want to upload it to a server. Maybe you've got it, you know, you've set up an account with DreamHost or Bloomhost and you want to upload it to that. Okay. That is a potential scenario that we could be looking at. Um, maybe you have decided to migrate from one server to another. Maybe, you know, uh, there's a web hosting provider that's offered a sale and you want to change web hosting providers or something. So so maybe maybe you want to go from DreamHost to Bluehost or Bluehost to DreamHost or something like that. That's another potential uh, um, um, scenario where you might be migrating from one web server to another, or maybe, you know, your web server, your website is being hosted on a friend's web server. And now you want to, you know, you want to upgrade, you want to migrate it to your own web server. You want to get your own plan and you want to have full control over that. Um, now conversely, perhaps you have a site that's up on a web server and you want to migrate it to a local installation. What I mean by that is an example of this is um, I've had clients in the past where they've had a website um, and they want me to work on it. Um, and so, but, but if I'm not sure how that website was built, if I'm not sure it's a WordPress website, but I'm not quite sure how it was all constructed, how it was all pieced together, what I might want to do is I might want to migrate or make a copy of that, clone it, if you will, and then install that locally on my computer so that then I can start messing around on things without screwing up their original website. Okay, so that's another potential option. You might want to go from a live site and clone that site and then bring it down to your computer. So local installation of web server, old web server to a new web server or web server to a local installation. Those are three really common scenarios that we see for uh, cloning and migrating websites. So what are the types of skills? What are the specific skills that I expect you to have in order to do this tutorial series? Okay. Well, I expect you to have some basic computer navigation skills. You really should know how to download files uh, from the web. You should know where those files are going and how to access them. Okay. This is pretty fundamental stuff, but if you're not quite sure about that, then uh, make sure that you know about how, uh, you know, where those files are, where your default download directory is, things like that. Um, you should also really have some 
basic WordPress administration skills. You shouldn't be comfortable navigating the administrative section um, of WordPress. You should also be comfortable installing and configuring plugins as well too. If you're not comfortable with WordPress, if you're a super, super beginner when it comes to WordPress, I want to spend a little bit more time making sure that you're really comfortable with WordPress before attempting something fairly complex like a WordPress migration. Um, you also need to be able to upload files to your web server using an FTP client such as Cyberduck okay, or FileZilla or whatever. Here, I like to use Cyberduck, but you can certainly use any FTP client, any FTP software you want. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's simply a method of moving files from one computer to another, from one, from say a, a, a local computer to a web server, for example, that's what it's commonly used for. If you've never used fi uh, FTP before, you really need to make sure that you've got your head wrapped around that first before you move forward. If you do, if you're an expert at FTP, that's great, that's fantastic. If you've never used it before, I've actually included a couple extra FTP basics videos as a bonus section at the end of this tutorial series. So take a moment now to pause the video, go to the FTP basic section. Do a quick kind of review of that. That'll give you a crash course on how to use FTP. I need to make sure that you understand how FTP works in order to move forward. And finally, you need to be able to log into the administrative panel for your new server if you happen to, if you're if you're going to be, you know, actually moving or migrating your website to a new web server, which is most of the time what's going to happen, you need to be able to log into the administrative panel because there's a little, there's a couple little administrative details we need to take care of at that end. So for example, if you were wanting to migrate your website to Bluehost, as an example, you'd want to know how to log in to you. You have to have that account set up. You need to be able to log in. That's something, that's information you would have received from your web hosting provider when you signed up for your account. Um, when you log in, you'll probably see something that looks very similar to this. Most of the time, you'll be accessing something called cPanel. Um, a few other web hosting providers have slightly different configurations, but cPanel is a very commonly used one. You need to be able to know how to log into that. And typically that's just clicking a login button, entering your credentials and just logging in. I will walk you through what you need to do once you're logged in here, but I can't tell you how to log into your own uh, web administration panel because that's totally going to depend on you know where your web hosting provider is that sort of thing um so as long, but as long as you have those basic computer navigation skills those basic wordpress skills you know how to use ftp on a very basic level or or you can take the time to watch those ftp basics videos and you know how to log into your admin panel then you can certainly uh you you certainly are in a good position to learn how to do a complete wordpress migration if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. For ad-free versions of all my videos and other bonus content, check out my online courses at robobunnyattack.com. Thanks for watching.